So this video tutorial will serve to orient you to how to use the Excel tutorials and exercise. They're really good. They're really going to help you to strengthen your knowledge of uh, various metrics in uh, transportation, customs, supply chain, logistics, and so on. Uh, but you should really know how to take full advantage of them. So in your course, in the Excel link on the left, if you click on it, you'll see a table down here that looks like this. Okay? There are some other exercises, very basic ones up here, but this is the comprehensive exercise. right? Now here's how it works. Um, there are six different exercises that are individual plus one very basic one. And the sixth one is simply highly optional. It's a dashboard. Uh, you can you can do one of two things. You can do each exercise independently and keep adding to it until you finish, or you can look at the entire exercise up here. So you'll notice that there's three levels of file, and the PDF will show you the actual instructions that you need to know in order to complete that. So the starter is simply a file provided to you starting in exercise one that just gets you started. It types in a lot of the numbers so you don't have to type them in. You can move on to building what is necessary. Uh, and then the final file is the finished product. That's something you look at at the very end if you're stuck and you just want to see how it was done or how the, properly to do it. So let's have a look. If you want to download this entire exercise all at once instead of individual files, open this one up, this PDF. So I'm going to do that. And it looks something like this. It gives you some idea about what the company is, a uh, little bit of notes on how to proceed, and little notes on, for example, anything highlighted in these sheets is actually a calculation. So if you scroll down, this is the first very basic exercise to introduce you to the Excel environment. And then the second page, it gives you some pointers on how to complete this, right? Uh, scroll down, and this is exercise one. It's a little bit more complex. It's right into kind of transportation supply chain type metrics. And these are the instructions. Exercise two, instructions. Exercise three, instructions. And keep in mind, the instructions are not going to tell you step by step how to do anything. They are simply to guide you, to give you information that you yourself cannot make up. So this is the exercise in its entirety. You might want to print it off and use it as is. Or what you might want to do is just go to the final Excel file, click it, and usually on the bottom left corner there's a link. You just click and open it. Or alternatively, you can right click on it, save link as, or save target as, and save the file to your desktop. So it is suggested you save all of these to your USB drive, for example. right? Let's open this Excel and see what it looks like. Okay, this is what you get. Uh, this is the finished product. You see various tabs at the bottom. So that's exercise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there's an additional sheet down here providing uh, extra information you're going to use later. And we have a dashboard as well. If you finish the entire thing, this is what you're going to end up with. Uh, but I got to tell you, by the time you get to fleet and drivers, the concepts, ideas do get a little bit higher end. So I think if you can do up to freight, you're good to go for now. Fleet is something you spend a little bit of time thinking and seeing, okay, what's the approach to it? And each exercise, in fact, repeats quite a bit of the stuff you've done in a previous exercise. That's what Excel is all about. And don't ever get frustrated if you don't get one thing. Excel is great in that if you don't get one thing, you can still move on. For example, just type these numbers in if you don't know how to do it. Then you can spend time later on trying to figure it out. So Excel is about these little tools. These little ideas, these little pieces of knowledge that you put into your toolbox and take to your employer. And I have to remind you, Excel is probably the single most important tool that you can know about uh, uh, for your entry-level job. So I'm going to close this file. Now, let's say I want to start with this exercise here, the very basic Excel one. I would open up the PDF. It would show me what's required, give me some pointers. And then I would take a peek at the finished product if I really needed to. And I'll just open that up just to show you. There we go. Okay, That's the finished product. Don't start with this. Start actually building it from the PDF file. So let's close these off. Then we're going to start with exercise 1. Okay, So Excel 1, click on the PDF. This is your exercise. It's the first sheet. And these are some of the pointers that you need to know. And what I would do is I would then open up the starter file. Don't look at the finished product, okay? The starter file, and this is what it gives you. It's typed in all the numbers that just require typing in and left everything else blank. And obviously there's some sort of formatting that you need to do as well. Your job is to go in and fill these in 
uh, putting the thought that is required. And obviously your professor is there to help you as well. And you probably go through some of this in class. When you're done, you finish it. Uh, and then you move on to exercise two, three, four, five, six, and so on, as far as you can get. And I believe if you can get up to three or four, you're good to go for now, okay? Now below there, you've got two support files that will come in handy if you do any one of these exercises. You'll know when you get there, it's going to ask you for one of these files. And then below here are mini tutorials to help you with a lot of the things that are in here. So m many of the complex things provide tutorials for you here. So take a look. There's a lot of them, and quite a few of them have video tutorials associated with that as well. Now going to pivots, very similar. If you go to the pivots tab, um, you're going to get some exercises up here. But if you like video tutorials, this is the main video tutorial, and that's the data file you'll use to do that, right? It's kind of like a mini exercise. And then over here, uh, if you want to do some very tricky questions, there's video tutorials. These are the questions over here. And this, of course, is the data that you would use to do these as well. Okay, so have a look, uh, have some fun with it, but most importantly, practice the heck out of it. Okay, that's what strengthens you.